another song. Oh, like going on under. Surf. Y'all know what the vibe is, man. 888. Peace and prosperity. To better the best day y'all for tomorrow. Gonna get better. Y'all know what the vibe is, man. Respect to everybody out there saving their money, time, and energy. If it ain't add value to you, don't add value to it. Respect to everybody out there handling their business. Today, the best day ever. Tomorrow, going to get better. Peace and prosperity, and we're going to become the best versions of ourselves. If it ain't add value to you, don't add value to it. My two cents, you can either cash out. Throw it in the wishing well and wish me well. So everything I say, take it with a grain of salt and always do your research. It's the V to the V to the Y to the Z. And don't forget my O, Oasis. And if you're new, this your first view. You don't know what to do. Hit D, all of the above. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I'm assuming you did. So you know what it is. We on radio station 78.1, The Vibes. You did. It's the host. Vibo. And I'm going to get y'all day started. Respect and shout out to all my chosen ones out there. Because we always ask for a stronger back and not a lighter load. Y'all and Simon. So today what I'm going to do, I'm speaking about the chosen ones. And the quote of the day is, they're merely wild dogs trying to upset the line, but they cannot defeat you. A better yet, they the hyenas that's checking them and laughing. 40 of them, but they know that they were they by themselves. They heart, about to have a heart attack. And semi. So uh, I'm going to speak on a couple of the qualities, you know, the trials and tribulations and the accolades and the attributes that you may notice that will let you know that you're a real bona fide chosen one. You dig? So one thing about being a chosen one is that you're going to go through trials and tribulations beyond regular people and NPCs' imagination. You know what i So boom, one thing about being a chosen one, you're going to have this. Like a motherfucker. Hold on. So you're going to develop this. You're going to have no choice but to develop thick skin. Because they're going to always, you're going to always hear your name in the wind. Motherfuckers always going to talk behind you, kiki la la, but smile in your face when they see you. That's them fake motherfuckers. That's them manipulatives. That's them Decepticons. That's them bots. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you're in your divine masculine, divine feminine, and you're a chosen one, you ain't got no time to deal with the lower vibrational situations and people, places and faces. You understand what I'm saying? But as you rise up in consciousness and frequency and vibration and you detach yourself, you're going to develop thick skin. You're going to develop people naysaying and drawing salt on your name, hating on you. But what God planned, no man could touch. All right? And then the next one is... Okay, your spirit of discernment, it increases, it develops. You get to hear that inner voice and you also get to hear that voice of God much more. You know, your body may do certain movements that you mentally didn't even tell it to do, but you know, you may feel a little push over your shoulder, you got across the street for a car came, all type of different situations. The most high always got his protection and presence with us. And it's all he always got his best fleet of angels with us. So you're going to have the spirit of discernment. It's going to increase significantly. Your spirit of discernment will be heightened beyond the average person. Like, literally, like, your spirit of discernment will be like the reflexes in the physical realm, like Kobe Bryant got on the basketball court. You understand what I'm saying? So besides thick skin, the spirit of discernment, also by you being the chosen one, you always have a connection to source, you know? A lot of people want to read the Bible, read the Quran. There's a lot of people that's there's a lot of chosen ones that can be blind and deaf. They don't have the option to read the Bible or read the Quran. So they got the connection to the source, just as all of us do. We all got the connection to the source. But some people want to be vampiric leeches and parasitical because they want the light. You understand what I'm saying? They want that golden glow. They want that Hercules glow on them, but they don't put in the work because the chosen ones did a lot of self-healing. That's another stage, you know what I'm saying, that you may be dealing with and going through self-healing. And when you deal with the dark soul of the night, no other entity or energy on this realm have to deal with it like the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? So the dark soul, you know what I'm saying, balancing your light, learning how to use your yin and yang, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, a couple of other things, you know, you may realize that being a chosen one is that your family hate on you because God gave you this great power, but with this great power come great responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? So you got to realize your life is not for you. Your life belongs to the most high. So everything that you do that defile your temple, defile your body, defile your mind, body, and soul, you just like you're spitting in God's hands or you're spitting in God's face. So you always want to have respect for the most high. You understand me? Okay, so other things about the chosen ones is uh, we become targeted into targeted individuals. Okay. And by being a targeted individual, you also deal with gang stalking. What's gang stalking? Gang stalking is organized mobbing with your local city authorities and people, homeless people, people that work in certain buildings, because there's two different people, right? There's the people that's 5G and there's the people that's 5D, fifth dimension, fifth generation. Fifth generations, Karens, Kevins, and bots, and those who, oh, I'm just doing my job. And then there's us, those people. You know, they say, they, they say like, if Jesus was to be hanging out with anybody, he'd be with the prostitutes, you know what I'm saying, the bastards and the heathens and the drug dealers and, you know, not the doctors, you know, because they really the ones, they're not really doctors, not this type of um, pharmaceutical living. You understand what I'm saying? Because they just want to treat you. God is going to give you the cure. So you become gang stalked because you have a certain life because you're going against this new world order because you're the... You are that rock. You know what I'm saying? You are that lighthouse in the middle of a stormy, stormy weather, a goddamn tsunami. You are that that lighthouse. You understand what I'm saying? You are the one that never go out. You are the candle that could never go out. And you could light as many as many wicks as possible and you would like never go out. You understand? But you also have to realize and know when to interact with people. And you gotta act spirit in the most high. If these people could even touch you, you're not supposed to be touched by anybody or everybody because when people touch you or you touch things, energy get transferred. So you got to watch the things that you touch, the things you say, and the people that you allow to touch you. If you know they are defiled with their hands, they cannot touch you. You know, somebody like, for example, you can't shake your hand. If you're a man, you ought to make no this. Motherfuckers don't wash their hands. But motherfuckers could just touch themselves in a sexual way. And then they're going to touch you. So they put the spirits on you. So you got to be very mindful of who you're touching. You know, you can't. You got to ask the spirit of discernment to give you the green light to give you the go. And if you don't get the go, then it's a no. You have to learn how to say no. As a chosen one, we are natural, um, nourishing people. You understand what I'm saying? We have... Something that I have heard multiple times, multiple tools, and one of them is that we have a healing ability. We have a healing energy. Just by anybody being in our ability, I mean our facility, they're going to get healed. You understand what I'm saying? And they say in the scriptures, all the lady needed was just to touch the hem of the cloak. So just by these people being in our atmosphere, you realize people walk up out of nowhere. You go into a situation, you go to a place that ain't got nobody in that motherfucker. It's dead as hell. As soon as you get in that motherfucker, that big head lit. You know what I'm saying? Get packing on like everybody being that motherfucker. There. It'd be hella traffic. Because by being a chosen one, also you are a magnet. Okay? You are a magnet to good and bad. You know what I'm saying? You repel good and bad. You are a magnet to good and bad. Well, you really don't repel good, you know what I'm saying? But you know, that's what magnets do. You that magnet that bring everything in, you dig? So another quality I want to speak about with being a chosen one is that you have to eat high vibrational fruit foods. You know what I'm saying? Fruits, veggies, herbs, teas, our sea moss. You know, natural produced things that have a seed or had a root. You know, because our bodies are high vibrational. So we are like jet planes. We are like airplanes and private jets. We can't put diesel in a jet plane. That bitch going to blow. It ain't going to run right. You know what I'm saying? Something going to be grown off. So we got to make sure our pistons is running at its highest optimal level. You did? And um, another thing is that we always get taken care of. Uh, always bless. I don't want to say bless. I say we always receive blissful gifts because if you just look at the English word, bless is just be less combined. Bless. So I just say we receive blissful gifts from the most high. 
always, but people come around because they want to feed off your energy and feed off your light and feed off the gifts that the Most High are offering you. You dig? So you got to watch out for them parasitical leeches. The motherfuckers that's not pulling their own weight, the motherfuckers that's not contributing to you, that's not contributing any anything to God, that's the ones you got to watch and stay away from. But always remember, one monkey don't stop my show. Ho. So boom. We got gang stalking, talking to individuals, spirit of discernment, always receiving favor from God because we are favored by God. Connection to the source, self-healing, balance, which is our yin and our yang, the light in our soul and the dark night of the soul. Your life is God. It don't belong just to you. You can't just do anything you want. But also, if you want to do anything you want, which is could be negative things and you indulging in evil, wicked, nasty things, then you're going to become a chosen one of the devil. Then you're going to switch sides. And then you're going to have to stay there forever because it ain't no coming back. You know, that's that's God's opinion. That's God option. That's not for me to speak on. But you know what I'm saying? Sinners, saints once were sinners and they survived and they kept pushing. They ain't died because the, the debt is the wages of sins. You understand what I'm saying? So in order to become a saint, yes, you once was a sinner. But you chose just like uh, Vegeta. You know what I'm saying? He was an evil-ass bastard.